Dear colleagues, uh, let me represent evaluation of Zaterea hortensis leaves essential oil pharmacological activities. Drug discovery and development from the medicinal plants continues to remain one of successful strategies based on a complex of their secondary metabolites with wide range of pharmaceutical activities. In view of this, medicinal plants are of particular importance for the treatment of pathologies with polyvalent etiology uh, with uh, simultaneous exposure of multiple targets. Moreover, plant drugs are characterized with uh, tender enhancing of pharmacological activities with a comparatively low rate of side effects. In view of this, many plants have been investigated as a new source for non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and antimicrobial drug study. Uh, many plants has, uh, have uh, anti-inflammatory and anti-nociceptive activities due to their active components such as alkaloid, essential oil, and uh, flavonoids. Uh, the presented study aimed to investigate anti-inflammatory, anti-nociceptive, and antimicrobial activities of Armenian flora saturated hortensis leaves essential oil. Uh, the following methods are carried out for this research. The essential oil was obtained during plant flavoring period by Ginsburg uh, steam distillation method. Chemical analysis of this essential oil was verified by GCMS method. The anti-inflammatory of the essential oil was carried out by uh, xylene-induced ear edema method with morphological evaluation. The antinociceptive activity was carried out with uh, tail flick test by means of analgesimeter apparatus. Uh, the wound healing activity was carried out in planimetry method, pH detection, and antimicrobial study. A statistical evaluation was carried out by means of students' T criteria. Thus, according to our results from the GCMS methods, gamma uh, terpenin and carvacrol has been found out to be main components of the essential oil. According to the literature data, uh, they have anti-inflammatory, anti-nociceptive, and antimicrobial activities. The anti-inflammatory activity was carried out by using xylene-induced ear edema method. Edema was in induced in each uh, rat by applying xylene to the anterior and posterior surfaces of the right ear. Rats were pretreated with 20, 50, 100 milligram kilogram of essential oil 30 minutes before initiation of inflammation. Uh, evaluation of the inflammation was carried out by uh, mass differences between right and left ears. Uh, th thus, data shown that uh, our essential oil has anti-inflammatory activity and it has dose-dependent character. Thus, uh, in the control group of animals, mass differences between right and left ears was about 88 milligrams. Uh, after injection of 20 milligrams of essential oil, mass differences between right and left ears decreases up to 43 milligrams, which prevents edema by 50%. Further dose enhancement decreases anti-inflammatory activity. At the 50 and 100 milligram of kilogram essential oil, mass differences were correspondingly 55 and 68 milligram, which reduce edema by 37 and 22 percent. Uh, this data was evaluated by uh, morphological changes in uh, rat ear dermal tissue. Thus, histological evaluation revealed that some pathological changes was observed in the control sections of dermal tissue, uh, which were de comparatively decreased under essential oil treatment. Thus, in the control sections, destroyed hair follicles, sebaceous and sweet glands are observed, 
uh, which is clearly detected under treatment of the essential oil. In the control sections also uh, muscular and cartilage tissues are destroyed, which are uh, cleared under treatment of the essential oil. Uh, another changes was blood stasis and dystrophic changes in the reticular layer of dermal tissue. And uh, after treatment, uh, sebaceous and sweet glands excretory ducts are uh, clearly detected. Another experiment was antinociceptive activity, which was carried out by means of tail flick test under um, uh, with tail with analgesimeter apparatus, rats were pretreated with 20, 50, 100 milligram kilograms of essential oil, and uh, the latency period of time of the tail was recorded after 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes after injections. Uh, obtained r data indicate that uh, essential oil has high antinociceptive activity and it has dose dependent character as well. Uh, the maximum uh, highest activity was recorded at 50 milligram kilograms, uh, reaching its maximum effect up to 62 percent. This uh, activity also was confirmed by measuring percent of maximal possible effect. According to literature data, uh, compounds with predominantly central antinociceptive activity was carried out in this test. And uh, according to this, we compared with acetaminophen and uh, results indicate that uh, essential oil antinoceptive activity not only uh, comparable, even exceeds the effect. Based on anti-inflammatory and antinoceptive activity of the mentioned oil, it was uh, interesting to find out wound, re wound regeneration ability of the oil. It was carried out under thermal burn. Rats were uh, briefly anesthetized with ether. Dorsal skin was prepared by removing the hair, and hot stainless steel plates were put on the back of animals, and the ointment of the essential oil was uh, treated also with vehicle, and uh, uh, after three days interval, it was measured the wound sizes. Also for uh, explanation of the wound mechanism, uh, regeneration ability, uh, pH detection and antimicrobial study has been carried out. And uh, this was uh, carried out by planimetry method. Uh, so we can see after three days intervals, uh, we can see uh, that wound surface is decreased. And in the third, seventh, uh, tenth and uh, fourteen days, it was decreased by 19, 9.9 .9 and uh, 30, uh, 23, 24 percent correspondingly compared to the control group. Also, it was found that, that uh, essential oil ointment has um, favorable influence on some pathogenic microorganisms such as Proteus mirabilis, Klebsiella, and Escherichia coli, uh, in which result wound pH is decreased compared to the control group. Uh, for interpretation of the action mechanism, uh, it is it should be it is uh, interesting to know that uh, wound service serves as a good environment for the bacterial growth, uh, and also enzymes activity in the wound service are increased, such as proteus, ureus. And uh, also, it is known that uh, these enzymes has not favorable influence on the wound regeneration process. Also, uh, high pH values are typical for the infected uh, wound surface. And uh, the explanation of this lies in, uh, in uh, Proteus mirabilis bacteria high urus activity, which leads to accum uh, ammonia accumulation and increases in pH. The, during 
ointment application, it was found out not only Proteus mirabilis uh, bacteria growth absent, also average uh, pH value decreased. Thus, we can conclude uh, ointment favorable influence on the wound regeneration process. Uh, the antimicrobial activities of the essential oil was also carried out in vitro analysis. Uh, the indicator of antimicrobial activity was inhibitory zone diameter in the petri plates, and uh, some pathogenic bacteria was studied, and it was revealed that uh, essential oil influence on Staphylococcus aureus, Escherichia coli, Bacillus subtilis, and fungi of the candidate type. For conclusion, uh, obtained results indicate that essential oil can, can be served as a good source for the uh, development of the agents uh, for as anti-inflammatory, antinoceptive, antimicrobial activities for uh, different wound healings. And thank you for your attention. We have a few minutes for questions. Maybe let me start out with a quick question. Like uh, early on, you show one of the uh, the graphs um, for the anti-inflammatory activity, and maybe I saw it wrong. But you have an inverse dose response. Is that correct? Uh, sorry. Were the activities better at the lower dose compared to the higher dose? Yes. And so do you have an explanation for why? that could happen? Uh, explanation, uh, I think, lies in that small doses, it has low irritating ability than in higher doses, because we know that essential oils in high doses, they can cause irritation, and in ca it can influence n uh, negatively on the uh, anti-inflammatory activity. So were you able to go down even lower and find more efficacy? And uh, we haven't tried to go down yet, yes, but uh, according to literature data, uh, I haven't found lower than 20 milligrams, even uh, 10 milligrams about, but not lower. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the uh, presentation. You showed in the beginning that um, these terpenes uh, you uh, found, that they, they, these would be the active compounds in your essential oil. Are these the active compounds for all these uh, activities? Uh, yes, I think uh, that all for all activities, because we studied different just pharmacological activities, and uh, it is complex essential oil, we mm, didn't separate the active compounds. We search it on a complex way. Okay, okay. good, thank you. Yes. Uh, just a quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, have you compared this compound with other uh, many of uh, those natural compounds, uh, many have uh, anti-inflammatory uh, functions. Uh, In terms of, uh, you know, how potent they are, have you do some comparison? Uh, no, we uh, didn't have some comparison because uh, just I haven't found the compound which I can compare with it as an etalone compound, like standard compound, uh, <coughs> because there are a lot of plants, a lot of compounds which show anti-inflammatory activity, thus uh, the choice of which compound to compare, it's not uh, so clear to you. Any additional questions? Okay, if not, let's uh, thank speak. Oh, but yeah, one more question. Just a short question relative to the other one. Uh, don't you try the... Uh, the don't you try to use the major compounds alone to, to verify that it's not the minor components that are really active? Uh, you mean separate? I, I guess the, the, the phenol uh, or the, the yes. terpene should be available commercially in a pure form. 
we didn't purify the company. No, 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 no. Don't purify. Just buy them. I guess they should they be have. Yes, they, they should have. be available and test them pure to be sure that the activity is not due to the minor components. Ah, you okay. See? Yes. Uh, it's remark. Yes, minor components. Uh, minor components. We have uh, again com components with uh, the same activities. Also, minor components also show the same activities according to literature data. But the most uh, highest activity shows major components. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. With that, let's uh, thank our speaker again for a great talk. Okay.